Good morning, Cardano Army. It's your boy Boomin coming at you with yet another video, guys. Go ahead and do all the things that the algorithm likes. I'm a hot tea and honey, locked and loaded, ready to go. Let's get this show started. Thank you to our wonderful Patreon subscribers, Catherine B. Offwell, let's see, Craig and Farooz Den, Maryland for Crypto. And it happened. Uh, Robin Hood delisting Cardano, Polygon, and Solana uh, due to the you know regulatory scrutiny that is going on right now um with the sec coming after ada for some reason and yeah the markets are definitely uh definitely reacting to this you know cardano that is down right now uh 19 percent uh with other coins being down 21 to 30 percent um it's a bloodbath out there right now, guys, but, you know, like I mentioned in my V-Chain video, the regulatory uh, climate right here is hostile. This current administration that is currently in office does not like crypto. Uh, they're grandstanding because apparently this administration does not like billionaires, quote unquote, even though they have billionaires all throughout the cabinet. Um... It's just lip service, and it's just another way to control you, every single aspect of your life, your financial freedom, and uh, it's just a means of control and deception. But we're still here, we're still building, and we're going to continue to still be here, and we're going to continue to still build, even if we don't do it in America. Okay, like I mentioned in my previous video, crypto is global. And if America doesn't want crypto, there are other places that will take it. Um, so uh, I'm just gonna be prepared. We're locked in. We're hunkered down. Uh, we've we've weathered many storms before. And guess what, guys? You know, if this is gonna be the global uh, settlement layer, if this is gonna be a global financial market, then uh, you know we're gonna take more hits as crypto continues to evolve as crypto continues to get better as more and more people learn about it uh, it's going to get more intense so strap in i'm running for a long ride um since gary gisler and the sec recently sued uh binance and and um coinbase this is not going to be settled uh, in a matter of months, uh, I believe this is going to take years. So we still have a chance at maybe a bull run or two before the dust settles. Uh, but you know we'll be here um, for every step of the ride. So let's go ahead and move on, guys. Uh, Binance suspends all USD deposits following SEC lawsuit. Um, soon they're going to suspend uh, fiat. <clears throat> um, Deposits as well. I think they're uh, Binance US is moving to a strictly crypto exchange. So if you're on Binance US, um, you know I'd highly recommend that you get your crypto off of there as soon as possible. Uh, I'm gonna be doing videos on how to go strictly DeFi soon, uh, especially with Cardano. So stay tuned for that. Let's go ahead and move on. Thank you to OneCom, ticker symbol 1COMM. They recently upgraded their server, so hopefully block projection will get better, faster, and cheaper. Thank you to OneCom for sponsoring the channel. We really, really appreciate it. 0% fees until at least the end of December 2023 for all existing and new delegators. Thank you, OneCom, for sponsoring the channel. We need you now more than ever. Let's keep Cardano decentralized. By delegating to a small stake pool operator is what I've been preaching for the past two years that uh, Shelly's been uh, active. We need to keep Cardano decentralized. If you're staking with 1% stake pool or Binance stake pool, you're doing it wrong. And you're not helping the case for ADA being decentralized. So please consider delegating to a, um, uh, a stake pool that is small. Okay, guys. Real quick, Mithril, nearly ready for mainnet launch. Uh, protocol aimed at boosting scalability and chain synchronization will be another milestone for Cardano. So much anticipated Mithril protocol is closing in on its mainnet launch. 
According to notes from Risa SPO, final testing is in progress. Cardano continues to demonstrate commitment to improving scalability and performance. Uh, McCracken's update encourages SPOs to upgrade to node version 8.0. Um, so on the Mithril front, the protocol is launched on the mainnet appears imminent. Stakeholders and community members have been invited to join the Discord channel to participate in coordinating the launch. Mithril Protocol aims to create a stronger and lighter blockchain through stake-based threshold signature scheme and enhanced chain synchronization, state bootstrapping, and trust issues in the blockchain applications. Okay, so let's keep that in mind. Keep that in the back of your head. That's all I got for you today, guys. Thank you again to our Patreon, Catherine B, Offlet, LSC, Craggif, Roosden, Maryland for Crypto. Again, we got DeFi uh, coming up, I think. Uh, my next video, we're going to do a Cardano DeFi basic overview. I'm going to show you guys, you know, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to uh, get some ADA, how to, you know, use some uh, what decentralized applications are available the best ones it's going to be a, a quick overview and then we'll dive more deeper into that uh, there are ways we we do need a couple of projects to get up to speed a couple of projects to uh, come out on the main net such as Aneta btc for bitcoin transactions we got milkamata for bridging if you have some eth uh, you know, you can buy some ETH on Coinbase and then transfer it over. We're, we're going to be going through all that soon, so stay tuned for that. I love you guys. Keep chopping. I'll talk to you soon. Have a good day.